Sensitive to sharp pain? Perhaps you have some trauma at the dentist or doctor. Do you struggle with new experiences, things that you haven't experienced before? How about needle phobia? Hmm. Well, me too. <laughs> Tattoos for anybody can be a scary, daunting process, especially for autistic people. I mean, you're literally getting someone to stab yourself uh, repeatedly over the course of maybe 30 minutes all the way up to about three hours, maybe. I had my first and currently only tattoo uh, in Thailand. I, I basically went abroad into Thailand, into this place called Chiang Mai, which is like the north of the country. And I was doing a research placement as part of my biomedical sciences degree at the University of Manchester. So it was basically this industrial experience program and I decided, hey, you know, Thailand's on the list. I could go study mosquitoes. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Why not just, just ditch your life at home and just decide to do this absolutely crazy thing that is completely out of character? Um, or at least it was completely out of character for myself at the time. My tattoo is what you can call a sakyant. Oh, that's the, that's the process of it. It's basically a Buddhist-based tattoo that is very popular in Thailand. You may have seen, I think there's this famous actress who had got like the lion tattooed or the tiger tattooed. Uh, Angelina Jolie might be her. So I got there. I, I, I decided on a whim, you know, why not go get a tattoo? And I got there and I was greeted by this, this sort of organization that was kind of um, doing all these tattoos, doing all these sakyants. And I was introduced to a monk. You know, they, they have like different tiers of monks that do it. And you have um, some people who are like, have done it for like years and years and years and you call them like professor or something. Obviously it's not professor, it's something in Thai, uh, but I just can't remember that. So I got there, uh, not really sure what to expect. I knew that it was going to be a little bit different to usual tattoos. Um, going by the fact that the monk brought in a massive steel metal needle um, which I assumed was going to go inside my skin. Apparently this this whole process is um, a little bit more painful, but it definitely was fairly quick. I think it was done in about maybe an hour and a half, two hours. So the whole reason why I decided to go get a tattoo, it wasn't to look cool. It wasn't to sort of create a design and have it painted on my body. It was more of a emotional experience for me. At that time, if you've been following my channel all the way back then when, God, I had like maybe a thousand subscribers, I only recently started my journey. My grandfather uh, passed away and he was, it was very important to me, and very important to my family, supported me a lot, especially with my sporting endeavors, especially with university, uh, going and traveling. I, I, I guess I wanted a way to try and remember him or a way to... Some, some kind of cathartic method in order to sort of, you know, show that I cared about him. And I decided to get this, this head of a tiger with this like ring around it. It's supposed to mean like power and confidence. And then the ring's supposed to be like protection from all sides. I'm not religious. I don't believe it. It gave us this little card that they had. And it said, I had like a list of rules that you have to abide by or else the, um, the spiritual energy of the tattoo. Uh, won't work. And one of those is uh, making fun of your mother. <laughs> and another one is drinking. So uh, I failed that very, very quickly, mostly on the drinking part. The idea of getting a tattoo was more of a way to symbolize taking on more of a role in my family. Before that, I wasn't really, I didn't really understand family at that time. Didn't understand why we have to like and help people who you know, are just given to us, you know, we don't choose our family. And that was the kind of mentality that I had before. And I kind of changed over this, the course of this one year, uh, learning a lot more about myself, sort of looking into philosophy, psychology. And I wanted to, to sort of mark this as, or ma mark my body, which sounds very crazy, to show that I really cared about my granddad and that I wanted to follow through with his last words to me. Stay in Thailand. It was to learn and to help people. And that's what I've been doing ever since. Now, there are a lot of reasons to get a tattoo. 
and everyone's going to have their own idea of, of why and when and how much time you need to put into it and how much thought that you need to do and whether it needs to be original or you know and unique or just something that that looks really cool that's very trendy you know i can't tell you which one to go with because ultimately it's gonna depend on you but for me um my tattoos or my tattoo that i do have and the ones that i'm planning to get uh, held a lot of sort of symbolism for me i mean i've been thinking of that my next tattoo for like what is it maybe three four years which is an absurd amount of time pretty sure i'm gonna get some like wings on my back to like go out of the tattoo and sort of go down my arm a little bit that's still in the works i'm still not completely sure and i don't think i ever will be but i need to be as sure as i can be after all it is going inside my skin i would definitely recommend taking it a bit slower than a lot of people would because Although it seems like a great idea and you love the design and it looks all great, it's very hard to remove and it's very painful to remove. And if you struggled actually going and getting a tattoo or you struggle with the needles, you are definitely going to struggle with the laser removal <laughs> techniques that they use. So make sure it's personalized. Be clear on its meaning to you. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to have a widespread meaning. It could just have something that means means something to you. You could spend at least a few months, just at least a few months thinking about it. If you're really, really impulsive and you just want to, you get your first one and you like, you get the, get the rush and you're like, oh my God, I can change my body and go and get some more. Try and, try and just, just tone it down a little bit, put a bit more thought into it. Find a tattooist that does a style that you want. Don't just go to any old tattooist um, who look who looks good and, and sort of does really great designs, but doesn't necessarily do the designs that you want. You know, there's there's different types of tattoos. I'm not going to go into it. They're kind of like stuff around line work and emblems. And, you know, there's lots of different ways of doing tattoos and they all have their little sort of separate genres. And of course, a fail safe thing to do is... Uh, Always invest in a high quality tattoo. Don't get drawn in by, you know, you look at looking at tattoos and you look at the prices and you're like, ooh, ooh, I could get one tattoo or I could get five tattoos. <laughs> Perhaps this one tattoo is not, you know, it is is a lot better, but at least I can get five of them. That is not the mentality that you want. <laughs> Trust me on that. And of course, you know, this is an autism channel. You know, you're you probably sick of me rambling about tattoos and not mentioning anything about autism. Um, so here are some tips that I found to be quite helpful and some things that I wish I did before I went to get my tattoo. Number one, is your tattooist friendly and calm? Do you get on with them? Do you like them? Do you feel at ease um, as much as you can do with someone holding a machine that's meant to stab you? <laughs> Have you told them that you at least struggle with certain things? It could be around sensory stuff, hypersensitivity, uh, pain. Well, I suppose that's related to hypersensitivity. You could just go out, go up and say, hey, look, I'm autistic. They probably won't. A lot of them probably won't know exactly what that means for you and what kind of difficulties you may have around the whole process of getting a tattoo. So it's better just to give them a little bit of a rundown, just say, you know, I struggle with this, this, and this, and this. Is there any way that I can make it a bit easier for myself? You also have to consider the environment. You should always go in to actually see the tattooist beforehand. And I know it can be a little bit difficult because uh, the, maybe the tattooist that you want is, uh, if you're in the States, maybe it's like a couple of states away. Or <laughs> in in the UK, perhaps it's, you know, the other side of the country. You know, making that trip down just to see what the environment like. So, uh, a lot of money just to go and see it. Maybe the best thing is in that situation, maybe, maybe, maybe just don't spend a lot of money. Maybe just ask if they can sort of video call and show you the place or you can, you can look at it on Google Maps. But basically, you just want to have an idea of what the environment's going to be like. And if you find that it's a little bit too distressing, noises, lights, perhaps the decorations, perhaps the general feel, of it, if, it is, if it's very open or is it like in a closed sort of space. These are all things to consider. Another thing to consider is the use of numbing cream. You know, a lot of people have made the mistake and they've drunk loads of alcohol to try and numb the pain, but 
We all know that that causes your skin to bleed um, a lot easier. So pretty much all of them recommend you don't drink. But there is actually a difference and some tattoo artists have like preferences on using numbing cream or not. Some of them, they're very comfortable doing it. Other people, not so much. And you don't want to go to someone who's not had experience using the numbing cream and, and tattooing over that spot. Um, you want to go to someone who actually has experience with that. So what do I think? Do I recommend getting a tattoo? Yes. <laughs> I, I cannot stress how much I absolutely hate needles and absolutely hate sharp pain. I'd say that I wouldn't go and get a piercing again. You know, I had my, my piercing done, I don't know, like a few months ago. And it was the most horrible experience I've, I've ever experienced. And apparently the lobe is supposed to be a very insensitive place compared to the rest of your ear and your body. And oh my God, I cannot imagine someone <laughs> shoving metal things in their nipple. Must be so painful. But bar all that, Bar all the difficulty of it and the pain and the anguish. <laughs> Make it sound like some kind of horrible feat, like some kind of horror movie situation. Uh, but it's not. And I, I found most of it quite tolerable. Some parts a little bit more difficult because it was kind of in my spine area. Any, any place where there's bone closer to the skin than in other places, like the non-meaty parts of your body, like your rib cage, stuff like that, that's supposed to hurt like... A lot, basically. So despite all of these issues that I had going and getting a tattoo, I would probably do it again, honestly. So if you are kind of thinking of going and get a tattoo and you're, you're really worried about it, you're autistic, maybe you have a lot of hypersensitivity, maybe you have a needle phobia, please take comfort in, the, in this video. If you get all of this stuff right, if you, you know, take on board what I'm telling you, maybe watch a few more videos, you'll pretty much do everything that you need in, in order to have a semi-pleasant experience. It's never going to be fun. So, well, some people find it fun. Some people like it. Some people fall asleep. You could be one of those people, but I am definitely not. So if anything, just know it's, it's going to hurt a wee bit, depending on where you get it, depending on how long the session is, depending on how big it is depending on how much colours added into it. All of those factors are going to determine how difficult it is for you. But you are going to feel so great once it's finished. And I think that is the beauty of the tattoo. It is it's a mark on your body, something that you're, you, you're willing and ready to get, and something that represents something quite deep and emotional to you. And so you put it on your body. Let me know, have you had any particular difficulties with getting tattoos and you are autistic <laughs> just need to make that make that make that clarification sure please let me know and are you planning to get any more tattoos i would very much love to hear what you have to say about that let me know down in the comments and of course if you want to stay up to date with all of my shizzle links are that side <laughs> the this side and you can get all of my links to my videos, to my TikTok, to my Instagram, and of course to the 40 OD podcast, which is going full steam ahead with season two. Two, well, one episode going out every two weeks at the moment. So we've got the ball rolling. I hope you have found this video insightful or helpful or anything like that. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in another episode on the Thomas Henley. YouTube channel. Yes.